What's up guys, this is Nerbuck coming at you with another episode of But Does It Spin? And today we'll be opening something that is not Beyblade, but that it's kind of like Beyblade. And today we'll be opening this. Um, some of you may know what this is. It is a UFT Ultimate Tr Fighting Trashies. And it is from the Trashies uh, toy line. Um, there's a lot of toys like that nowadays. I think gro groceries and... And uh, other weird stuff. I wasn't, I was never too into it until I saw this, which does have spinning, spinning battles. I think that is fantastic. As you can see, it does come with an arena, which I can already see that is not that great of a quality. It is a thin plastic, much worse than any any Beyblade arenas that I have ever opened. It does come with a launcher and a spinning little monster that goes inside. Um, any toys that have their own launchers and their own spinners, I think is fantastic. They're not just trying to copy um, Beyblade. They're not just trying to copy other toy lines. Um, things like this, I think is fantastic. They made their own thing. Kudos for them. That's always a positive point. Um, we'll be opening that today. And uh, just to show you, I do have a few uh, other pieces of that toy. This is the a launcher. Um, they do come in like a starter set, which comes with a monster and the launcher. And uh, they do have trash packs, which come with like a bunch of trashies um, for you to add to your collection. I did buy a bunch of used ones um, from, a, from a person. And they did send a lot of launchers and a lot of monsters. Um, but here's the kicker. You do need this this little piece um, for them to work in the launcher if you only put the monster here it doesn't it doesn't fit you do need this little little peg to put in the in the hole <laughs> um, um, for them to fit like this um, that said the person only had three of these so even if you buy used keep in mind that you do need this piece a lot of people lose them so if you buy uh, like a bunch of these from someone else um, that had it, make sure they have a few of these at least or you'll end up not being able to play it. Um, the person that I bought it from only had three of these despite him having more than eight launchers. So I can only practically use three launchers at any given time. And now because I have the, the arena, that is four. Um, this is a toy that is from, I believe, 2014. 2015 or so so at least here in brazil it is getting harder to find them they were never too popular i guess um there is a lot of uh trashies and stuff um around but the uft version which is this spinning battle thing um itself it wasn't too popular i guess um so it is harder to find even used is hard to find down here i'm sure in the states it is a lot easier to find but yeah, they're cool, definitely cool. But do they spin? Let's check it out. So here we are with the arena already built. It was a. Uh, it comes with these little fences that you can just put them on. Um, no big issue. Pretty easy to put up. Uh, you do have a little bit of space here at the edges where you can put your extra trashy figures that you have um, so that they can cheer on the fighting and stuff like that if you want, um, of course. And one thing though that I noticed is that the arena itself is the plastic is a little thin, is, is quite thin actually. Um, much thinner than any Beyblade arenas that I've seen, even from the, from the third party arenas, it's much thinner than those. It is a decent size, um, but also here, the, the middle part of the arena, it's flat. So I don't think Beyblades would do too well with this. It's not very deep, uh, very deep either. Um, so yeah, it's it's mostly flat. I don't I, I don't know if you would want to use this as a as a Beyblade arena. That said, we do have our trashes here. We can try them out. So um, the way you, to do it is you spin it until you hear a click. 
There you go. Let's get the other one done as well. And then you press the button on this side of the thing. You want to keep them flat. Um, and yeah, three, two, one, go. Oh, one of them fell. Oh. So one of the figures already fell, and the second one fell as well. Um, you can hear the sound of them hitting each other. It is a lot, a lot stronger than I had expected. They do spin a lot harder. This guy did fall straight up again. <laughs> um, but yeah, this thing spin a lot harder and a lot faster than I than I had anticipated, which is very cool and impressive. But the burst um, when they hit each other is almost immediate, so it's not like a fight that will last on for you to cheer or anything and um, as as I said before once they fall over you do see the number that is up to see who won um, we'll say oh he just turned himself on three so maybe he lost uh, but when he when he had fell over the first time we should have looked what number he was on um, but yeah it's a it's a fast play game I guess we can try the other ones that we have You spin until you hear that harsh click. And then you go. Three, two, one, let it rip. That one didn't spin that much at all. But uh, this one did fall. Just uh, for you to hear the spin. See, it does spin pretty fast. And it's pretty crazy, I guess. Um, but yeah, and like I mentioned before, this peg, it is very important if you are planning on buying this used, make sure you do have this little uh, peg piece to put on the, on, the, on the figures or else they will not fit on this. Um, but yeah, it is not, it is not like any, a complex game. This launcher and the launching system is interesting, it is very robust. Um, hard plastic, but the arena is uh, it's not that great in my opinion like I mentioned before and the game itself um, Like I said is very fast-paced they hit each other they they burst um, So it's, it's I don't know It's, it's not a very competitive thing either because I mean you can change the figure that comes on that comes with it but like they're small, small enough that I don't think like aerodynamics or anything will affect it. I don't think um, the impact points are also outside, and they are always the same, same design. So I don't think you can customize it to make it perform any better. Um, it just <laughs> it does hit pretty hard though. So let's look at the points. It is fell on five. I don't know if you can let me. It did fell on five, and this one is on four. So the red goo won. Yeah, it's a it's a simple game, nothing too crazy. Uh, one thing we could do is test out our Beyblades on this arena to see how they would behave. So we have the two Beyblades we showed on the first episode: uh, Ace Dragon and Bushina Shindra. And we can try this on just to see just check out the arena which is uh which i'm guessing is why most people would get this because the the game itself is not that great already rip as you can see i did pretty weak because i didn't i didn't want to like rip the arena if by doing it too fast um it's okay i guess they don't they, they are going towards the middle, so despite it being flat, I guess because it's small, there's not much else to, much else to go. Um, Ace Dragon in the beginning, he did go out, hit the wall and came back and stuff. So that is, it, it's, it's an okay, like in terms of Beyblade behavior, it's an okay arena. Um, that said, like I said, it is a very thin plastic. It's, it's a very thin plastic. 
So I'm afraid it would rip if if we played Beyblade here too often. So I wouldn't advise you to do that. I'd advise you to use this for the UFT um, trashy game. And uh, yeah, that's all I had to show you for today. And uh, if you like stuff like this, please give a give me a like. Um, you can subscribe for more contents like this. In this series, like I showed you before, we are um, mostly playing around with Beyblades and stuff that resemble Beyblades. Anything that spins. So if you're into that sort of things, stay tuned because we got a lot more content coming your way. So I'll see you next time. And remember guys, always nerd on.